squadrons to ever fly in Manfield airspace are gonna dogfight for the top four, folks. The Tigers of Gen G. They've never finished worse than fourth. They're the reigning, defending major champ. And FaZe is tired of hearing about it. They are ready to usher in the reign of first killer. G2 versus FaZe for NA's last hook. A North American Smackdown for the honor of top four here at the Winter Major in San Diego, Turtle. And what an honor it is to be here to present to you this amazing best of seven. These two are coming into the quarterfinals as complete opposite phase, having performed well in their group, secured a bye round and got the day off yesterday. Meanwhile, Gen G, they struggled in their group stage and nearly self-destructed, but out of the flames, they have arrived into the quarterfinals. And I'm sure that we and them are prepared to make this one heck of a series. Right off the bat, we've got FaZe Clan looking to start with some pressure. First killer, he is eager to get into this series, Jormy. Hey, absolutely, and FaZe, you know, they've been in the tank. They've been grinding this winter. Rolt is getting them into shape, and you heard CJ seeing Rolt is pumping them up, trying to get a decibel volume up and rock them a little bit. Uh, trying to jumpstart FaZe's push, but Gen G, they start off early here. Phase with a couple of saves. Started off with a kickoff. Chen G had a close one. Yeah. They haven't relinquished possession yet in the first minute. And Phase certainly know what they're up against. Chen G, such a clean record against Phase on land, at least. Not the case online. First killer knocking at the door. Typical oh. double tap, missed opportunity, but it looked good, and they keep pressing forward. Good touch from apparently Jack. Now a one on one against Typical. Oh and he gets destroyed. Oh Jack my. gets the first goal. And of course, it's Abjack. I mean, this man had 100% goal participation against the Falcons. And of course, it's him getting the first goal for Gen G. Unfortunate backflip there for typical. See Jack come in, you know, there's about 30 different things Jack could go for. Oh, yeah. When he pops it up, and it's a 1v1. Ended up just mechanical input error. And that just feels like what Gen G's strengths are. There's, there's so many different outlets for what they could do. They have so many different strings to their bow. Cohesion as a team, Chronic I mean, alone. as well, right? I, Absolutely. Like, there's, there's six deadly weapons on this pitch right now. It's like, Jack, yeah, he got that 1v1 typical. You know, I, I don't expect him to have another input error like that. Yeah. We know first killer more than Oh, do of we know first killer? For sure. Yeah. Jack, back. He's got the touch, but a loose ball. That first killer, there he is. Indeed, we know this man and what he's capable of. Don't let him heat up at the beginning of a series. Abjack, he's the one who scored the first goal, but he's making the first mistake as well. Doesn't place it perfectly. You want to hit that to the corner. It's just a difficult situation to be in. Yeah, he didn't have a lot of boost. It was tough to get out to the side. You know First Killer was breathing down your neck. All you can do is hope you can bang it off the bar and your teammate can get there in time. Did not happen there for Gen G. Oof. He's getting set up. Missed actually deleted by apparently Jack. First killer waits. That's a good catch. What's he got here? Nolly sitting up on the wall. First killer. Oh. Taking him out. And it bounces off the post. Typical collapse. And look at the outlets that first killer can go. You have to respect it if you're Gen G. He could have gone for the midfield pass, but by himself, it's the midair bump. Two players in net, and that's not enough to stop first. Yeah, someone's got to get up to challenge him. First killer, two quick goals now for phase of response. Chronic gets away by Sipical. Nolly coming into support. You know, talking to Nolly last night for today's games, Jack taking away. Nolly was feeling quite confident about how they would do against yeah. phase, knowing their record against them on land. They have a pretty good oh, idea yeah. of how phase likes to play. Right now, it's phase that are the ones in the driver's seat. But there really is something to be said about a team struggling early on on an international stage, I think having those mistakes blatantly exposed in the group stage for Gen G was a blessing in disguise. They can come out here, all the nerves were left in the past, and they can hope to hit that peak formation that we're so used to seeing. You can see it. They seem to happen to them in the regionals. They lost their group to complexity, but come back in some tight games. And it, it was FaZe who built that momentum in winter. 
against Genji. Typical is just a nice catch. But Genji are really struggling. Hang on to this ball right now. Jack trying to force Typical to give that play up. Typical, no boost. He's happy to sit there while Mist and First Killer wait. Big demo. But here's a big shot. Mist. Denied by Mist. Mist, the Guardian Angel for FaZe Clan. Keeping that ball out. Locked in on defense. Rotation's not breaking. First Killer, patience in the corner. And a big 50 win from Typical. All that pressure relief. Chronic. Soft touch to get it back to Jack. Genji having to set up. All of FaZe were waiting in midfield. I mean, that touch right there, Chronic forced to give it up. Notley taking out Typical on the back end. Does Genji look to break out? Chronic with a pre flip with no boost, and he landed. Poorly could not keep momentum. Mist also got the demo. More space will be opened up. Genji have had great transitions, though, not oh. remaining in their own half for too long. He got a bump and a follow up. Nolly's also going to turn early on, get a pass out to Chronic. This man doesn't stop in rotation. Jack. Wide open. And Abjack. He's gonna finish it. Abjack is his second goal, but it's a great setup overall. You see everybody, Jack, covering the first option. Mist is coming across, he sees the pass coming through. Zipical gives both of his teammates the length, and everybody loses the touch. Now Jack gets a free shot, Zipical just gets picked on again. And to me, that play all stemmed from Nolly staying in rotation. He went into the corner, took the boost, saw the opportunity, turned on it quickly, and got that pass out, dishing it over, and Chronic, he wants the third. Hard shot. Of Chronic, but not enough to make FaZe jump too far. Oh, what a try from Gurr. Oh, typical. Follow up. Typical. Look out to Mist, and Mist gets the lead for FaZe. Let's talk about standard rotation. This ball, so many consecutive shots off the crossbar, off the side post, and finally with Mist. Third time's the charm. 28 seconds on the clock. FaZe Clan bite back. You do all that work. Just to go down by one again, and not a lot of time to oh, do it. They're trying to kick off. The touch back to Jack. They're going to make it work. Not a good time. Could not get the touch, like you said. First kill and punishes. You like the idea off the kickoff. Abjack fakes it, sets up Chronic, but that first touch isn't ideal. Abjack has to recover and just dishes it out into the midfield. Phase Clan. They didn't expect the fake kickoff, but it worked out for them. That Chronic just too far to the side. They didn't get the exact route that they wanted, or at least Chronic didn't. Just a little far to the line of the ball. FaZe Clan taking control of game one. Clean up these last 10 seconds. Maybe even get a fifth. They send it across, and first killer. Certainly get a fifth. Typical FaZe Clan rolling. Keep it going, FaZe Clan. Game one as strong as ever. Cool. And talk about a difficult second half for Gen G. So many good looks with that continuous rotation from Nolly. I liked what I saw from all three of these players, but very awkward defensive touches and face pin were all over. First killer caught him on the break twice, and that really set the tone for the rest of the game. After that, Gen G, just that second half, they did have some good setups, but yeah. they weren't good at building pressure. FaZe only gave them a couple of chances at a time, and you can't build that pressure, you can't get the boost. You can't get the boost, it's gonna be hard to keep pressing yeah. against, uh, against FaZe. And this is scary, first killer, 716 points. You know, on a mission. Two goals, eight shots, I mean, this guy, he is on pace for that first land victory, Jorby. You know first killer hates every single mention fourth clan gets. That, oh, that grates absolutely. on him so hard. <laughs> he has been performing excellently this major. There have been some other players that have been performing just as well. But first killer, time and again, when it comes down to it, he always performs on always this performs. stage and puts up incredible numbers. He puts up incredible plays. But typical and missed, I really like how they're looking together as well. Typical especially, who's had an incredible yeah. winter where I think a lot of people felt like he took a, a couple steps oh, yeah. back, and he really did. But winter has been almost like a revival for Sipical. Yeah, and there were so many people who were questioning uh, Sipical coming into this, uh, how he folds under pressure, if he can handle this environment on this stage. And of course, he has answered the call. And as of late, he has looked unstoppable. Game two, will it be the same story unless Gen G can adapt Try to fix some of these defensive mistakes that we're not so used to seeing. Nolly setting up Jack to start it off. A high touch for Chronic, but Chronic had jumped off the play seeing typical. And all the Gen G, not typically saying Gen G don't have the field awareness. 
but it seems to drop at times. The ball gets loose, FaZe take control of it immediately, although they get the challenge here. Chronic and Jack are so far off the ball. That was an eager challenge from first pillar. Not sure if they're getting too comfortable with the speed, but as I say, that's typical. Dust out Nolly. First pillar's back in rotation. Chain dashing on the sidewall. This looks good for him off the backboard, but Chronic pre-jumps and gets it out in. Another follow-up pre-jump from typical. These players living in the future. Missed. Pre-jumping Chronic's air dribble. Jack crashing the box. First killer gets there. It's amazing to see how these pre-jumps have developed over these seasons. The chemistry, the cohesion has to be spot on. If you're pre-jumping it, Chronic oh. wants another one. Double tap high in the sky, and he nails it. He's got a Chronic condition of putting the ball in your net, and he nails that double tap all oh, right underneath the defense. They got a touch on it, but it just had too much heat. Spikes it down, and what a way to start out game two. Gen G. They are certainly in this series for the long run. Nolly takes the boost, dishes it back out in the midfield, oh. but Abjack, huge miss. Abjack has not had the cleanest game so far, Turtle, and they need Abjack. Oh, to be on his game certainly. in this series. But you he, he, think about that mistouch in the last game. That's a good shot, though, to keep it on. Talk Talk about, had those issues in the Talk about needing Abjack. I mean, he's required in this game. So his first killer on that bump, required to hit Chronic if they want to get a goal. Have a response. Typical. Throwing it to the corner. No Back one on face has boost right now. This is a chance for a quick transition. Is a chance. Chronic. Oh, missed. He got back in time. Everybody's loaded up. They just couldn't get the ball downfield fast enough. Everyone from FaZe was so First killer's still there. Oh, 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 oh. Don't lose the entire team's typical scores. It cost him an arm and a leg, but first killer is willing to make that sacrifice. One demoed, two demoed, and the first goal for FaZe. And it's Gen G getting that first goal. FaZe responding, and it's first killer at the helm. Now, the leave kickoff for Mist. Went straight back to him. He got the 50. We see first killer playing the loss. Typical is on the far side. A very patient position for FaZe. This just this looks so composed from FaZe Clan. We're not seeing them rush challenges. Every opportunity is such a quality attempt at the net. Nobody's really rushing in the sky. First killer side dodges or honestly opts out for that challenge to save on the boost. They know they have to play the smart game the best approach possible against Gen G. Chronic up for this again on the 50. Typical. Waiting for Jack. Look at the patience. But Nolly scoops it out from under him. Trying to get in front. Turns off the cam. Got the 50 as well. He forced missed off the ball. Nolly created so much value, but can they keep the pressure up? Jack rushing the touch, thinking it was going to come quickly. Now Miss gets the turnaround. Hard flick save! Miss was able to take that midfield boost and go. Typical drop down pass. Clean rotations. But face plant have gotten bunched up. Demo from Nolly. He's going to look for a second one. Miss takes out the striker. And first killer can recover. Jack almost got caught out on that play as he was going forward. And then he saw first killer through the smoke. Kick that ball out. And now he might get there. Just did. Nolly. Trying to get the catch. Jack trying to get in the way of face clan. But first killer behind the ball. Miss swings out wide. First killer bumps one in. I think first killer decided that today was going to be an air triple bump day. I mean, I think it's a big one here. It looks like every player is going to come out of this series with battle scars. Nolly from the backboard. Still looking to set up a play and more demos, I'm sure, are going to come out. Chronic and Abjack had no boost on that play. They were both looking just to pick up some pads. And nobody, nobody was there to follow up Nolly's touch. Genji, some broken opportunities. And they've been getting downfield. They's difficult on defense, but they have retained midfield. And they get by typical here, Chronic. Denied. Oh, no. A little antsy there from FaZe. They've stayed here for a while now. Gen Another one. Looking for a poke. You can tell that FaZe then have been put in several uncomfortable situations within the past minute and a half. That's the third double commit we've seen. In a matter of 20 seconds, FaZe plan scattering just to remain tied up. Good pass across. Abjack not accurate. There's a lot of FaZe cars in the way, and he had to avoid that first challenge as well. First killer. Taking the ball himself. Setting up phase. Did well to handle Gen G's push for what, what was about a minute. 
great of Genji on the orange. Jack gets back downfield, pinches in the cross. And Nolly, Chronic, both on the same side of the rotation. Here we Chronic go, here we go. The deep, but Shang's way weak and not even on target. Right back into phase. Defenders, Baze gets the clear. Genji looking for a way out. Our Baze about to take First this one away. He's looking he for the one. It's taken away there. Typical no boost. And Nolly might have helped him out. Oh, he kept Genji it up. Is, nah, he kept it up. Shot not going to get it done, though. We got OT. San Diego wants a nice little buzzer beater. We're not going to get it. Game two OT. And Gen G, I mean, it, it felt like they had to have punished with so many double commits from FaZe Clan, still unable to get the second goal. Missed one demo, looking for a hunt on Nolly, who pre jumps the save and keeps Gen G in OT. And then a follow up. The accuracy will come through. There's a little give and go between first killer and half Jack. Nolly gets that initial clear. Jack turns around first killer. Dumps the ball out to the corner as Jack is moving forward, thinking he's gonna get a free clear to the corner. Steal the boost, or take his own boost, and dribble the ball down the field. But Jack was right there waiting. Gen G have tied it up. Two goals on eight shots for Gen G. A little bit better than, honestly, I had anticipated. You saw the last minute before we got into OT, all those mistakes from Face Clan, and then immediately into overtime, Face Clan pushed forward, we're getting demos. I thought we were gonna see Genji crumble in that game, but the mental fortitude, how many times are we gonna talk about Genji and their ability to overcome obstacles and not get in their own heads, even when things aren't going their way, Jordan. And when things aren't going their way, Chronic ends up picking up a solo play. Yep. That's what set the tone on Forbidden Temple with his double tap. Yep. And FaZe, they were able to fight and they made life hard for Gen G on offense. But Afjack, we talked about him struggling a little earlier. It seems to be, it seems to have stabilized by the end of uh, Forbidden Temple. But having Chronic on your team Absolutely. helps you through those really tough moments. When Chronic on the timeline yesterday was talking about how he thought he had a poor performance against Team Falcons, he has absolutely recovered and now he is holding the position that Abject previously held against the Falcons. The fact that this Gen G squad can constantly rotate in who is performing, who's peaking on any given day. They don't have to rely on only one player, Jordan. And Nolly has been incredibly consistent in this tournament. Absolutely. He hasn't had any Hasn't any really fault. given up any He's touches. He's just been that glue. Yeah, every time he, his call comes onto the ball, he always finds a way to at least get a 50. I mean, he even generated that one chance where yes. he had the pop-up uh, forced missed off the ball, got the 50 against typical to put pressure in front of the box. And Nolly does a lot of that quiet work that helps facilitate Gen G's success. Well. We just witnessed a sweep. We're not getting that in this series. One apiece in game three underway. Now, FaZe, you had struggles putting pressure on Gen G. Despite the attempts on the air dribble bumps, you were able to get a couple of close tries. Gen G's defense clutching up. First killer. Some force off the backboard. Oh. Miss has to stay flat. All the Gen G are there. You're gonna have to do more work than that. And I love first killer in game one. But I do think Sipical is going to come alive. This man will age like fine wine in this series. The shots, I'm sure, will improve. His involvement on the offensive side is gonna come in. But we will see a better phase clan. Just need to see that man start to get behind the ball a little bit more. We're seeing good pressure from Gen G. Chronic coming in, giving himself options. He's over one. Got the dunk goal. Skips the cross. Nolly gets a chance at the ball. Goes straight, aggressive. Lapjack waiting. And just tried to buy a little bit of time. He didn't really have an angle in. First killer with no boost. Launches it back downfield for Faye. Oh. And puts it in the net. And at first, I was actually going to critique first killer on rushing this pass, but he knew what he was doing. Saw Chronic in an awkward situation. Smacked it off the backboard. And no clear will come through, and typical strikes first. FaZe getting that first goal. Now Abjack off the kickoff, looking for Nolly. In there for Gen G. Chronic has left, now he's on the stealing. Did he just steal it? Chad, don't. You know you can take a chance there. Nolly going go. deep. Now he avoids the bump and gets the save, but first killer's still there. Backwards in in front. Taken away by Chronic, Abjack reading Sipical's touch. Here comes Gen G again. Abjack taken away. First killer will not let him get in. Hey, but they still might go. Here's another shot coming across. Chronic just trying to prevent FaZe from even jumping for the ball. What I love so much about both of these squads is how fast they can continue rotating in and stay in the opponent's half. 
you think they have to run back to their own side, but they are quick to remain stagnant in your half. They will set up shop in your defense and not let you carry this ball out. Nolly wants to carry it around the oh. player, but can't get it. They're still lurking, waiting for the first one. Went for the bump on Miss. Next on that, surely Gen G pick up that goal, but it's starting to look like game one. Gen G, they push, they push, they push. They just can't seem to break through that base defensive wow. line. And how about the moves here? Yeah. Going across from oh. Miss. Got the save, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Bays get two. Mist is living in your own half. Outpaced is chronic. Then through one simple shot on net, you make Abjack dive at it. And it's a free one given FaZe Clan. That pressure is making Gen G crumble. Gen G. What do they got in the pot here? They're getting bumped out of the pot. Typical. Just driving through it. Abjack cutting rotation. And just couldn't get to the follow up 50. Gen G got to try again from the blue. And that's typical, taking your corner boost. Meaning the transitions should be weaker. And they're forced to get this booming clear. Abjack, very eager on that shot. What a flick to the Musty. Trying to launch it downfield on a catapult. What does Mist have to offer over one player? Instead, it's a 50 50 and speed coming through out of first killer. Now we're going to be next on it. Looking for Chronic. It's a deep pass. He wants Jack. Jack actually wins this touch. Two face players. Leaves it for Chronic. Where's the follow up? In. He's got the shot, but first killer had time to set himself up. Here's another one. Chronic goes low, and here comes another. Surely this one. Goes rough, and he gets the first goal for Gen G. They keep setting up Nolly. And eventually, this man will find the top corner. There it is. All the way to the top left side. So much pressure from Gen G there. It's suffocating phase plan. They knew that they had phase off their rotation just slightly. That's why Nolly came in. All three players were right in front of the box, but they knew they could let him take that shot. Chronic rotating out. He got the boost steal. Phase just got starved, but they're looking to respond here. Here's another shot. Oh, almost found the top corner. They kept giving Nolly. A lot of chances to take those shots because he continued to be late in the rotation. But that third one, he was right on time and right on target. First killer, it's an illusion with Miz, and you don't even have to touch it. He's a master magician going up and with the fake. No, oh my God, this pulls off and oh second. My. First killer puts it in. That was That's sick. dirty. That's dirty. I, I think I need to clean off after that one. Sheesh. Oh my goodness. At this point, you're scoring when you barely even touch the ball. Maybe get another one, the fourth for FaZe Clan off the crossbar and out. Genji still alive in this game. Had some good pushes. They've had good pressure. Because that FaZe defense proving to be uber difficult, but they find a way to break through. They get two. Genji will not get knocked down. Nolly knows there's still plenty of time, 60 seconds to get going. And that's all him through the corner. You see him dish that ball out and then continue with a bump. Yeah, getting first killer out of the play. Had to wait for him to come across. Phase forced. It's a one goal game, Jorby. Here we go, Jack off the ceiling, keeping it close. Bonnet just gets away from him. Had missed frozen. Jack looking for a bump on the third man. All of Gen G on the opposite side. Jack's Protect it. It's dying here right now for Gen G. It's difficult with no boost, a chance for Jack to win. He's got it over one, but the touch gets away from him. Deletes. The second man, first killer responds. It's typical demos Gen G on his own. And first killer went for the wide angle double. Transition here for Gen G. That was the first demo for Gen G. Previously, good passing in the middle, connecting but still won't get the final execution. 13 seconds remaining. They're really trying to get that tying goal. Two chances now blocked by FaZe. First killer, pushing Chronic out. Typical, it's the target. The demo opens up the net, but Nolly closes it down. One more chance, he's getting harassed from behind. Kept it up, though. Tried the flick, but Miss gets over top of him, puts it in the net, and ensures a FaZe Clan game three victory. The insurance comes through. Miss is gonna put it away, take one to go. Make Genji feel that much more humiliated in game three. A couple of chances that did go their way, but FaZe Clan really stepped up on the defensive side. They had to handle so much pressure out of Genji. Genji, 
just didn't have enough. I mean, look how many shots they had, man. 12, so many times getting home, like, they were bumping phase. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. They were getting those demos. Like, they were trying to get creative. They had the passes. They got aggressive. Phase just always seemed to have a response. They always seemed to be a player seeing the totality of Gen G's right. offense, knowing exactly where to position. They can't pull phase off their rotation on defense enough. I mean, as we take a look at the Mobile One high performance replay, we can see that a lot of this came down to Phase Clan's predictions and their ability to understand exactly where Genji wanted to move the ball. I think it got more confusing in their own half. There were a couple of chances that did go in favor of Genji in the in the box of Phase Clan, excuse me, but in the midfield, that's where I was most impressed. I mean, even that last goal from Mist kind of represented how that entire game played out. Mist gets the read, wins the challenge, then that puts everyone on Genji out of place and you've got a free shot. I think that's what has been the bread and butter for FaZe Clan winning and predicting that midfield game. I remember Roll Diz talking the other day on first touch and asking him, what was the what's the hardest thing that you guys have had to work on this split? And it's letting the letting down the individual and elevating the team. And I think game three was exactly that coming to fruition. And interestingly enough, it was Genji who truly inspired that play out of FaZe Clan. First killer in an, in an interview said he was inspired by the way Genji moved the ball, how they play, how they approach the game. They took a little bit of that and combined it with that individual prowess, that individual skill, and now have turned into the monster that is Faze Clan. Attempted to score first, but we're back down the other end. And how quick does Faze Clan, all three of them, get back? First killer turns, but missed. Got that crucial 50 in front to kill it out to the side. Nolly with Nolly. the massive tunnel. Genji get the lead. Welcome back, Nolly. Lovely to have you here. What an early shot. Oh, great speed. That's a tight angle, but Nolly makes it work. Now FaZe on the kickoff. What they got? First killer drills it back to Mist. Typical turning back as first killer takes the 50. He's going the whole way back for his boost with Nolly. Full control. Back to Jack. G sent away to the midfield. Chronic, a little bit of space to get back to this ball, just diving in front of it. Nolly passed it over. Oh, and I am seeing an awkward rotation now from Abjack. He looked like he was trying to get more involved with the demos, but not sure what play style he needs to find against Face Clan. Does he want to go for the demos? If not, he could have stayed in and possibly had a shot. It's getting more and more difficult to oh. demo Face Clan just because of how fast they rotate and move out of the field. Another deep one for Jack to defend. Gets the first one. It actually scoots out real wide here for Gen G. Chronic now off the ceiling. He's got Nolly supporting him, but a save and a little pinch pass. Back to oh Jack. My oh my goodness. god, he ripped that ball to shreds! He left a dent in this ball after the shot. 42, but that shot was coming in at least I, 150. I need to know that exit velocity. That is insane. Someone, someone got to get the replay after that and figure oh out what was goodness. going on there. Hey, rip that ball. Woo. That didn't even look natural. I don't know how we got that power. Must have pinched it with the ground. But regardless, Gen G, this is certainly them back to form. And it's been back and forth in this series, Jorby. It has. Gen G. Well, they put on some stellar defense over the course of the season. I think FaZe has been one better on them in the match so far, but in this game, yeah. Gen G, the first two minutes, have handled business. Nolly with a couple of incredible saves early on. I mean, it's interesting because Gen G have been looking for these demos and trying to play physical, but they have zero in total. And that's, I guess, credit to the speed of FaZe Clan. They're taking boosts always in the air. Certainly an aerial game for them that they want to play. The more grounded they are, the harder it's going to be to control Gen G. This one slipped out. First killer. Does he have oh. a flip? He's trying to use it. The pass Whoa. down. It's unbelievable. Oh, first killer with a triple top pass. There's the first. There's the second. And he's got one more. Oh, what? my goodness. He's what? just so <laughs> disgusting, that? dude. That's, that shouldn't be possible. That's nasty. Oh, my goodness. That's got to be one of the greatest passes we've seen so far at this land. Gets the reset and moves forward. That's how you get your back here, your team back in the game. How can they respond though? They still gotta get one more. 
Heavy physical game for FaZe. As we start the back half of the game, four. Pass to Nolly. Nolly wants the second. Hey, Jack! Off the bar and in! They're slicing him up! FaZe Clan have to respect Nolly. He's been hitting these all series long, but he floats behind it. The illusion. And I think he's claimed the title of the best magician right now on the pitch. Faking the shot, letting it fall off the backboard. Feels full of magic, isn't it? Absolutely. This has been one heck of a series, one heck of a game, though, for Gen G. But Face Clan aren't out of it yet. Still, just under two minutes, so much time, and they've got pressure to work with. Good attempt there from Mist. There's nowhere for Sipico to go, though. Got bumped off the play. Now, Jack, he's getting bumped out. Not trying to square up. Nolly forced off the ball by First Killer. Downfield, Nolly. And to defend. First Killer letting Mist come in. Typical playing real close to Chronic here. And phase all of the pullbacks. As soon as they see Jack get that pass, but then they close down the midfield immediately. Almost like they're willing Gen G to come to the midfield and then they just steal the ball away again. Yeah. But that doesn't matter when you get demoed on the backside and Chronic starts winning those 50s. The game plan only. I mean, look at that from Nolly. I mean, that's ridiculous stuff to keep possession understanding that his teammates are a little bit farther first back and that wastes so much valuable time off the clock that face clan cannot turn back gen g are operating at their highest peak at the moment straight down again gen g keeping the pressure getting another goal they would not let the ball go and they get their fourth i mean can you can you blame face clan for not reading that pass from chronic He's coming from the left side of the ball and somehow still manages to hit it to the left side. More and more improvement out of Gen G. Yeah, it's been a, like you said, return to form when they went up by two. A lot cleaner on defense. That's a nice pass. Ooh! Phase. <laughs> Letting Gen G know they don't care they're down by three with less than a minute. <laughs> they're still coming for your net. That was such a speedy shot to my neck broke trying to keep up with it. Oh, that back. A double oh! tap. Oh! Nolly stole it. But Abjack earned it. Nolly just throws himself up. He says, I'm here. Yeah, oh thank you God. very much. Jack, hit you work right hard, but I'm there. <laughs> what is Rocket League anymore? This is ridiculous. This has definitely been a smack in the face against FaZe Clan. And this is a best of seven, a long series. We are certainly looking like we're going the distance. But we have to remember there are timeouts. The question is, do FaZe Clan use it after this game? It has been nothing but Gen G in the second half. A couple of good glimpses out of FaZe Clan. I can definitely agree with that, but it's the recovery out of Gen G. And I think their passing game has definitely elevated. A lot better for sure. And FaZe didn't have that, that type of possession. They didn't have the space. Yeah. Gen G aren't giving that to them anymore. In FaZe, they were trying to generate that space, trying to generate those quick counterattacks yeah. out of the midfield, letting Gen G come forward, knowing exactly where they can attack. But when you're not winning those challenges and your timing is thrown off on the rotation, you're constantly forced back. Now you lose the boost. And FaZe yeah. just executed that game plan efficiently. And our, not FaZe plan, excuse me, Gen G did, and the scoreline speaks for itself. And this was very quiet in this game alone. I mean, 170 uh, on the scoreboard, only one shot for Mist, when typically, especially in that last game that FaZe Clan did take the dub, I thought Mist was the facilitator I, for almost all of FaZe Clan. I just felt like second man, no matter who it was on FaZe, but we were always in, in a super aggressive position. Like, typical a couple of times would come across the box, maybe look for a bump or a demo while first killer's back in midfield, but you're giving Gen G almost free outs that way. Typical, they, they weren't giving up the ball. Like, all of Gen G had it. Jack. Happy Smiling. to get that second game back and come back, kids. Come back once more. Well, and this is where FaZe Clan can prove just how much progress they've made. I think at this moment is where they would struggle previously, whether it was online uh, against Genji in the previous split. They'd struggle at this point when the tension was there, when the going gets tough, how do they respond? And we're going to find out just now how much they've improved in this split over the season, their chance to take down Gen G on an international stage. Winner takes this to match point. Another pass in front, Miss scores! Winning the kickoff, picking up the goal. And I wanted to see more from him. He must have heard because he's coming out swinging. Abjack, not even a touch on that challenge. First killer is so quick to get it out. Yeah, Abjack going for the challenge, but first killer was already around the ball. 
on for the past. Not even considering, apparently, Jack. And that's got to feel good for FaZe, where you were really struggling to get anything yeah. going last game. Especially for Mitch. I mean, that man barely had any involvement in the play. So in the first 15 seconds, he's getting there with the first shot, first goal out of FaZe plan. Eyeball again, but Gen G are in position. You're a tight one in the corner, Apjack downfield. A little pop-up, Apjack swinging wide, back over. Got the base, Quick shot, but that one's just gonna be a pressure-building touch. All of Gen G wait for Sipical. And you'll notice, Jorby, Gen G are actually pushed a little bit further back. I don't see them going for as many demos. So this was definitely a strategy they used in that last game. Here comes Abjack. That, that patience there from Chronic. You oh. think it's gonna work out, but Miz bulldozes his way through and takes the boost. And he's got a touch, he's got two! In front, he even gets a demo. Miz doing a lot to break through the Genji line, but there was really nowhere for FaZe to, to pick, even though he cleared the path. Now another path gets cleared, but first kill, oh. Miz backed up! What is that? Path? Connection secured! How often are we seeing these mechs out of Miz? I want to see more of it. Flip reset from the ceiling to get it over to first. Nice little pass from Miz Genji. A little off target there. Faze take this to match point. They rock it out to a quick lead. Gen G just haven't even had a chance at the net. I remember, Jorba, we were talking about that change in play style from Phase Clan. Uh oh. First killer, what more do you have for us? It's the third one. He's got another double tap. First killer and missed. Mist forces the touch from Chronic out into space. Nolly sees that apparently Jack is frozen in net, so he comes up the wall trying to support. But really, it's again, it's missed. Setting up that whole play, forcing Chronic off the ball, and first killer does first killer thing. You can see what happens when Mist is playing well. All of FaZe Clan step up to the occasion. Unbelievable showing just within the first minute and a half. Both teams still have their timeouts as well. And if this continues the way it is, Genji may be forced to use theirs just to reset. They do got three minutes plus here to figure things out. Back pass from typical, back to Mist, and has to leave it for Gen G. Now a quick transition. Chronic, he's been quiet since game two. Yeah. Hasn't gotten much done for Gen G. And that one in front again. Phase Clan with first killer. Four goals. Typical. He's in the backfield trying to disturb you. Be a nuisance, takes out Nolly. And they are running away with game five. It's constantly back and forth in this series. First man's just getting so much value, Turtle, on, on these pushes for fans. Yeah. Like Mist, right, he set up the, the 50 into a bump, into, okay, I got a double tap pass out, and now Sipical drills through on a 50, bumps the other guy out, and FaZe are doing a victory what lap around with the night right now. They're just draining all of the energy out of Gen G Chronic. That's just a rush touch. He's feeling the pressure of the first four goals, and now he's the reason why that fifth one will slip in. Gen G, they've certainly got their work cut out for them. Five to nothing. Oh, typical wins another touch. Is that a six is it goal thick? coming? It it's is. Thick. First killer puts in another goal. And I mean, they're not dead yet, but I mean, jeez. And I said, Jorby, this is normally when FaZe Fan would have struggled historically. Maybe we talk about in the last split, they're up against Gen G. They got smacked around in the last game. The comms could have been low. The mentality might not be confident in this game, but no. They come out six to nothing. Ridiculous stuff. Definitely expected it's maybe something a little closer, but I guess FaZe were saving all of their offense for this game. Gen G set one up. Jack back on the rotation. That's, that's been happening to Gen G often in this series where their timing on yeah. the rotation is just off. Yeah. No one's no one's available for the follow-up. Someone needs boost, Ooh. someone needs something else, and they, they just can't actually push face back. I feel the exact same way. I, I'm noticing so many different connections in the offensive half for Gen G. The passes, the ideas are there. I mean, we've got demos out of Nolly, but like you said, it's the timing, the rotations for Gen G. They seem to be a couple of seconds off that could be due to boost starvation. Some of the demos from FaZe Clan have certainly shaken up Gen G, but... Maybe I mean, a little bit of boost anxiety, which Normally is, those rotations don't break so easily. Yeah, I mean, Gen G are very good on their pathing most of the time, but when you, when you put on a lot of pressure against another team, 
you can force them into some bad habits. Faye's looking for their seventh. <laughs> really, they're just buying time till we get to game six, where Genji really gonna have to figure themselves out yep. here. And I do want to see a couple for Genji, if possible. I mean, even getting one goal would be important. But the mental side of things is not where I worry for Genji. And especially with how this series has gone. I mean, Faceman just got smacked around in the last game. They're able to return the favor, give Genji a taste of their own medicine. The difference is Phase Clan will now put us on match point for the semifinals. The complexity are waiting. An impressive game for Phase, a statement game for Faze. There it is. And Gen G setting up the Brazil as we got 56 seconds left. Then we move on to Neo Tokyo. Phase Clan fully in control. Setting up the Brazil indeed, but still getting one goal to snap yourself out of whatever Genjutsu that Phase Clan were putting you under. Can they get their mojo back? I definitely think a timeout's warranted at the end of this game for Gen G. A little off their Ooh. rotation, maybe a second goal, denying the Brazil, maybe. But this quarterfinal, really, there's been a lot of games in this tournament, Turtle, where we see equally strong teams yes. put on a five or a six spot in a game. I mean, it's been a very offensively heavy tournament for these top teams. FaZe Clan, Gen G, both of them, no exceptions to it. They have both put on those high-scoring yeah. games. FaZe I mean, just own Wasteland Night. It's more apparent than ever just how impactful a lot of these individual players can be, but what makes them and what separates them from others is how they utilize each other. FaZe Clan, you've got first killer getting flip resets off the backboard to pass it into the midfield. But can we talk about miss? I don't think we would have seen this game been one so, or excuse me, be so one-sided had Mist not stepped up in the first few minutes. He wanted him to step up. It didn't have, uh, wasn't a, really in the center of the action much in the yes. previous game. And I mean, he was in front of it the whole time. First killer dropping a cool 1K <laughs> on the board with four goals. Typical's just cruising. He's 152, happy. he's just in the back, man. That's the happiest 152 you've ever had. <laughs> I don't think you can get any more comfortable than that. Typical 152 on the scoreboard. First killer, 1,017. But it doesn't feel like there's that much of a disparity between all three of the players. They're definitely moving as a unit, Jorby. Shout out to all the fans that have come out the Dreamhack San Diego. Yeah. We've got Washington. people standing in the back as well. Everyone wanting to see who moves on to the semifinals to play Complexity, who looked rock solid against Crew earlier oh, four today. Four to nothing. I mean, yeah, we're going to get one heck of a series, but we're still in the middle of a dogfight. Gen G actually do take the time out. I think you have to. I, I, don't, I don't think you don't you have to go choice. right back into the next game after right. you just got, what, you, you got danced on. You were the mat. I mean, you got lapped, what, a couple of times. First killer, what did he get, four goals? I mean, the man was unstoppable, 1,000 points. You've got to try and cool him off. Try and dump some cold water on the other side of the pitch, because so far it's been nothing but magma for FaZe Clan. Well, we heard Jack say it during the season. He said it was a thinking man's game. Yes. First killer heard that and uh, took it to heart. So right now, FaZe are outthinking Gen G on the pitch. Genji have kept it close. It has not been easy for FaZe. Can they respond with a statement of their own on Neo Tokyo? But one thing that has been so difficult for so many teams in San Diego, Jorby, has been closing out a series. Once you get on to match point, the atmosphere changes. FaZe clan know what they're up against, but this is where they close things out. Will that pressure Make them sway a little bit. Will it make them uneasy? How are they going to approach Gen G? You see Roll Diz keeping everybody talking, keeping minds fresh as the 60 seconds can feel long, especially like when you know you're one game away. One game away. From the semifinals. Timeout's over. All of their seconds are Here we up. go. Gen G got to execute <laughs> on Neo Tokyo. Can they send it to Champions Field? Or will the defending fall major champions be defeated? Right off the bat, big clear from Gen G. But first killer's got full boost, and he's going to smack Abjack out of the way. Starting things out physical with FaZe Clan's first push. It's been a physical game. It started this entire series. 
a couple of air dribble bumps. In game two, after they traded a couple of blows, Chronic delaying the touch. Typical and missed. Gonna follow this one through, but missed follow up. He loses to Nolly. Nolly bumping one out of the way. Chronic up high, and he did have the top of the net to maybe look at, but tough for him to get around. Close enough for a shot. Look at the uh, impact that first player can make as that first man. Gets the clear, takes the boost. Now the follow up from Gen G is gonna be slower. There's more space presented for FaZe Clan. This is rinse and repeat out of them, but Gen G, they have a chance to start things out strong. In the previous game, it was already going worse for Gen G. FaZe Clan scored within the first 15 seconds, I believe, and this has definitely been a good recovery from Gen G. Still nothing yet on the board. Not again. A little more pressure on offense. Typical getting tied up with Chronic. Chronic, no boost. Typical coming back down. Apparently Jack gets that 50, but now he's on the opposite side. Chronic having to dive to get to that ball. That could have been a high Jack pressure the boost. for Faze. Oh, Chronic hesitation in the corner. That's not what you want to see. Nolly, better patience. He's going to bail out his teammates. And Apjack has a shot, but a little bit wide. Shooting accuracy. You remember what happened in the first few games? It didn't look ideal for Gen G. Oh, even right there. Nolly diving yeah, forward, but there was really nowhere for him to go. Except to get to the 50. He couldn't even do that. Now Jack up high. Chronic coming back around. Not a lot of boost for him. Not even close to a full tank, but they keep having to weave around phase, getting chipped off. Jack has to chase the ball downfield. And that's not the way Gen G want to play this game. They want to control this ball, but phase are simply not letting them. This might be a new strategy. Just trying to hold the possession in their own half. Might not be as reluctant to move forward. Abjack takes another corner boost, gets a demo. The pressure will be applied. Nolly has to outpace first killer, but he can. Great touch in front of the box. Right here comes Jack again, missed. Sends it across, first killer gets deleted. Chronic trying to squeeze that ball into miss. Nolly, quick dive, he's got the win. Going down. down straight, no shot. Jack has to wait, and all the phase typical is already downfield to get the clear. There's that timing we were talking about for Gen G. Normally, you see a second man in that spot in rotation to at least put on a shot, but it's an empty, open space they for phase man just to get a free clear. They haven't given phase many chances yet, though. Three minutes are already gone, can you believe it? On Neo Tokyo. Phase in position to win this series to take Gen G down. They haven't done it once on land. Typical losing the ball there, but Jack forced to give the touch up and it swings right back to apparently Good Jack. Control. Jack, chronic in position. Leaves it to chronic and the shooting. Nothing is working. They're trying to leave it. They know what they want to do. They're setting it up, but they're not executing. I'm not sure if they're just expecting Phase Clan to have worse rotations potentially. No goalkeepers. And Jack's not crushing his progressions too, where he's normally so solid. Gen G, are the nerves get to them. Nolly, he's trying to set it up. He's trying to set it right. But the 50 bounces up. Product now has to buy a little time. He doesn't have enough boost to do much with this. Gives it back to Jack, and it's just a dead ball. Out to nobody. Phase Clan, at this point, they can just wait on their own heels because the ball will trickle out to the corners, but a demo. Might create opportunities. We know Gen G have better striking. Have oh. so many different arrows in their quiver. It's on Nolly and Chronic. Think about going for that challenge. And then they both pulled off. Communication key for Gen G. Nolly, here he goes again from the midfield line. Jack coming in close for a follow up, but he's never going to get one. He's just watching the ball sail around him as FaZe hold on defense. Oh, simple. Back on off. Typical. Typical. <laughs> nine. Now can FaZe actually set up some pressure on the blue half? Let's see how Gen G can handle that Ooh. pressure, and they do it well. First killer has to get a touch. Does manage. And under control, he goes out of the left side. That's two players. Missed alone. Look at the poise. Look at the composure. Give it to himself. First killer, no boost, but he gets a perfect touch despite getting his boost stolen. Jack keeping it close. Wants the Denali. pass. He's got it. It's wide and taken away by FaZe. Another one for Chronic. Swiping across. And he pull off another solo hero and then for Gen G. Who Miss, knows? He could end it. Here comes FaZe. Miss got the first challenge. First killer drops it down. Control. Another 50. Pop up on the ramp. No block. And the bounce on the ramp gives Stipple the chance to kill it. Neo Tokyo overtime. Golden goal. Face Clan. One goal away from the semifinals. Gen G. It could just be one oh. mistake. One double tap from Miss. First killer. 
Zero boost. Pop. Oh, oh. Get there. Now Jack's racing forward. Take this first kill. It cuts off the rotation. Missed. It's a perfect bounce. A perfect touch. Missed on the dribble. And the hot lead takes him away. Jack already downfield. But it's back over to the corner. Phase. Don't. They don't have it. Chronic. He's got it. And it's taken away. 30 seconds into the OT. Back and forth game. Oh, the Previously it was Gen Now it's it. Nolly with the shot. When will Gen G find the execution? That time. Stoic on defense for FaZe. So many different shots. Nine for Gen G. Three for FaZe Clan. Faze. This has been Gen G's game. But FaZe, they look like they believe it. They keep pushing so aggressively. You're right there, diving hard for it. Jack, no, he can't get the bump. Cynical <laughs> stays. Oh, no, Another no, one. Off the bar and down. Miss got the grab. Jack coming in the crash. One demo. First killer avoids another. Chronic gets there in time. Gen G, all the chips on the table. Their lives on the line. But FaZe, <laughs> they're the ones swinging in the balance on defense. They push it back out. Nolly planting himself, hoping for a boost deal. He's never going to get it. He's got to leave and get back first Come killer, on. denies them. Here miss, comes Miss, Miss. On touch, leaves it. He oh, missed. Yes, difficult to deny. Phase plan. They have 11 saves on their side. They've kept this ball out. They first found the killer. predictions. First killer could end it. Oh, Looking yo. for the final dagger, Dor Jorby. This could be it. He almost got that follow up. Phase getting to the 50s, typical. Pass back, but Jack was all on top of it. First killer forced to wait. Now Nolly gets another chance. Nolly. Off the ceiling. Double Nolly. Tap. Here Double he tap. Goes. Keeps it close. Jack Wait. has the ball. It doesn't matter. How many times you touch the ball? It's not going in the net. It doesn't matter if you can't find the accuracy. The shots have to be better for Gen G. They are one mistake away oh, from going home. Nolly. Back flipped off the ball. And now first killer, the 50 taken away. Gen G, despite not being able to find the net, they're still finding ways to get back on offense. Typical, typical. Jack saves Gen G's line. They're still in it, 2.30 into OT. Oh. But base plan, they keep pushing, typical. they keep extending. Abjack saves him again. Oh, Jack just gets there again. How many times does he have to make that save? How many times do they have to save their corners? Here's the box. Here's Faze. Oh! <laughs> Absolute dynamite. Faze destroy Gen G under the semifinals. First killer out to miss. Gets the reset. And Faze plan move to the semifinals. What a defensive showing in that last game. Absolutely unbelievable. 12 saves for Face Clan. And they earned that win, Jordan. That was so many. And even Gen G on defense. <laughs> So many saves. You got Abjack getting the saves in. Well, no, they didn't. They didn't have like any saves, but I felt like they had a lot. I mean, more. at the end in that OT, yeah. all of their saves came through. Oh. It was apparently Jack Just who like... pinched it off the crossbar, and I mean, that has to hurt. You're thinking about Genji, all of the different opportunities. Yeah. They they worked hard enough to create the chances, Jorby. At the end of the day, it's as simple as hitting your shots, finding accuracy, and that was. Honestly, from the beginning, what Gen G were struggling with, eventually you could get Gen or Abjack, excuse me, coming through. He was picking it up, picking up the pace with the accuracy, but it still started to plague them in the final moments. Gen G, yeah, it hasn't been the easiest tournament for them overall, but you know, they really got outplayed in the back half of this series. We talked about the, the timing, the rotation issues, and then it came down to, to touches, rushing their progressions, but then on Neo Tokyo, yeah. It felt like they had, they had fixed all of that by the second half. Forcing OT, they had so many shots, they had so many chances, but it was FaZe Clan outthinking Gen G, outplaying Gen G. Yeah. They were never able to beat them before on land, and now they have beaten Gen G on land. <laughs> FaZe Clan looking like one of the favorites of the tournament Absolutely. as it happened since it all started. Let's go listen to them. Let's do it. San Diego, make some noise for FaZe Clan and first killer. Now first, we know the history between you and Gen G. It's always a tough fought battle, but before that series, 
I was able to talk to Roldiz. Seems like you guys had him figured out. Now talk to me about what it means to have a coach like Roldiz that is able to dissect those things and translate them to all you guys and be able to figure that team out. It's honestly great. Um, it relieves a lot of pressure on the players to like do that on their own. And he just like, the reviews all the like the replays and stuff like that and just tells exactly what to, what to do. And then we just do it and it just works. Now you guys have punched your ticket once again into some semifinals and you're gonna be going up against Team Complexity. Now they specifically said they do not want to face you, especially if you, first killer, are on, I mean, you're hitting insane shots, you're just on point. What's your message to them right now? Uh, just be ready, because we're coming for you. Love it, love it. Now, I, I'm sorry that I gotta ask this question. What are you guys gonna do to get past fourth clan? How are you gonna put an end to that mantra? Uh, honestly, I don't really know. I just hope we do. They hope they do, and we're gonna make sure we're gonna have all eyes peeled when that happens. But before that does, we're gonna go back up to the desk and have them break it down.